What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Steve from Wildcraft. Let's get started at the very top of our page with the top edge of the goggles. We're gonna start right in the middle with a straight line going across. Now over on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve that goes up. And I just wanna bend that down towards the left side. Let's go back to the right and do the same thing. We're gonna go up and then just slope that down towards the right side. Along the side, let's draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the goggles. And I'll add a curve coming down and then in. Let's pull this up towards the nose piece, starting back over on the left, and this in. Just go up, We're just lining up the top on both sides. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we want to trace the lens along the inside. So let's start on the top left. We're going to follow that curve going up, bend that down, come down the side, and then the inside. And just follow those curves coming down along the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now from here, we want to tuck the head in behind the goggles. So from the top corners, we're going to step in, draw two straight lines going up toward the top of the head, and we'll close off the top with a straight line going across from left to right. Now we're going to line up with the side and come down towards the bottom of the goggle. Just pull that all the way down towards the bottom of the head, and do the same thing on the right and we'll close off the bottom with another straight line. Now with our square in place, we can go back and add the facial details. Let's start with the top edge of the eyebrows, just underneath the goggles. A straight line going across. Let's flatten off the ends with the short line coming down. And we'll close off the bottom. Now I'm going to leave a small gap and draw the top edge of the eyes. So I'm going to step down, draw that same length line going across. And we come down to create a rectangle on the left and right side of the eye. And then again, just closing off the bottom with a straight line. Now I'm going to shift the pupils towards the inside. From the bottom right corner, step out up toward the top, across. Now we're just drawing a small square and bring that back down. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add a small square along the top and the center for a highlight. And we'll fill the eyes in black going around that highlight. Now we're going to move down in the center and draw the mouth. Let's start over on the left side, just underneath the eye. Start with a curve. Coming down, and we'll bend that up. On the ends, draw a short line coming down. Go back to the left side and draw that same curve. Now on the side of the mouth, let's step in, draw two straight lines coming down, and then we'll fill the outside in black. Now you want to separate the teeth with two short lines along the side. So come in on the left and right. Now with the head in place, let's move down and tuck the body in underneath. We start over on the left side, draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to move over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to add some detail to the body. Along the top, let's step in. Draw a straight line coming down. And then we'll add the edge of the collar along the top. We're going to step down, draw two lines coming in. Come down with a short line. 
and we'll close off the bottom of the collar. Now from the collar, let's step down, draw two lines coming in. Along the bottom, we'll step up, draw those same length lines. Now from the top, come down toward the middle. From the bottom, go up, leaving a small gap. And we'll close out the top and then the bottom. Now from the hips, we're going to draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip, bend the leg going out, and then down towards the bottom of the foot, go to the right, go out, and down towards the same height. Let's flatten off the bottom of the feet with a straight line coming in. Now from the center of the body, we're going to step down, start with a point. Let's follow this curve over on the left side. Coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to separate out the bottom of the foot. We're going to step up, draw a straight line going across. Now we want to draw the inside edge of the legs. From the inside corner, draw two short angle lines coming up and in. And follow this curve going up toward the center of the body and back down on the right. Let's draw a straight line coming down the middle. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. From the top of the body, we're going to step down, draw a straight angle line going up and out, just aiming towards the bottom corner of the head, and we'll line that up on the right. From the inside, curve the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're going to draw that same length line going across the bottom, Connect the top and bottom with the same curve. We'll go up and bend that in. Now we're going to add some simple perspective to the arms. From the top corner, draw a straight line coming in towards the side of the body. And we'll draw this angled line coming down and in behind. Let's go down to the inside corner. Draw another straight line coming in. And then again, just following this curve, going up and in on the side of the body. Let's separate the sleeve. Starting on the outside, coming down and in. And from here, draw a straight line coming in. Let's add a wristband. Stepping up from the outside corner, I'm going to trace this along the bottom and then in towards the inside. Now with the arms in place, let's tuck the hands in underneath. From the inside corner, we draw a small half circle coming in and out to the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. We start from the bottom of the thumb and come down and then bend this up around that bracket. Step down, go out, and then up. And then the third finger, we're just gonna tuck this up underneath the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna go back and add one small detail across the hips. From the hip, let's step in, angle this down and out. Straight line going out towards the side, come down and out towards the bottom, and we'll close this off with a straight line. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. There's our drawing of Steve from Wildcraft. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.